Dr. A. Naresh Kumar, Assistant Professor from the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today we are going to have a discussion on single phase full wave semi converter with asymmetrical converter. So now here uh, in the previous lecture we have discussed about so sing, uh, type, these are the types of uh, rectifiers. Rectifier is a converter which converts from uh, AC to DC. So here we are using thyristors. So now here single phase off wave control rectifier with R load, L load, RL load, RL with prevailing diode, RE and RLE load. We discussed after that we discussed the single phase uh, semi control rectifier with a symmetrical uh, converter. We discussed. So now here I am going to explain. So now single phase um, full wave semi control semi control asymmetrical converter. So now here let us see the uh, circuit diagram of uh, this single phase uh, full wave semi converter with asymmetrical wave circuit diagram. Here in the uh, first leg, so we have two thyristor T1 and T4, and in the second leg D2 and D3 uh, diodes. So two thyristors in one di one leg and two diodes in another leg. So now here T1 the notation is T1, D2, T3 and D4. Here we are giving the supply. So here we are giving the supply to this A and B. So now here this is the load. So this is the I0. Here this load current is constant. Here let us take uh, one assumption. So I0 is constant. So load is uh, load is highly inductive. That load may be RL or RLE load here i naught is constant this is one assumption so here already we discussed vs equals to vab so that equals to vm sin omega t and next here minus vs equals to vba so that equals to minus vm sin omega t that we have already discussed this so this is v vab vab and next here this is the vba VBA. So now here this is VAB opposite completely equals to VAB equals to minus VBA. So VAB equals to minus VBA. So now here let us uh, understand uh, the uh, circuit operation first. Here during positive off cycle. So at T1 will trigger at uh, T1 will trigger T1 will trigger at alpha so now here during this period so t1 from alpha to pi from alpha to pi during this period so from alpha to pi t1 and d4 will conduct so t1 and d4 will conduct means here i am drawing the uh, the circuit so t1 will so this one here T1, so this will be short circuit and this will be short circuit and T1 and D4 will. This is the circuit diagram. So T1 and D4 will conduct. So this is the T1 and next here this is one load and next here D4. D4 will conduct and next here. This is the IS. This is the VS. VS equals to VM sin omega t, and this is the I naught. So now here this is I naught current, I naught current. So now during this period, IS equals to output current. This output voltage equals to VS, V naught equals to VS that equals to VM sin omega t. VM sin omega t. VS equals to VM sin omega t. That means here VAB. That means here VAB. So now here this is from uh, alpha to pi plus uh, up to pi only. So T1 will trigger. So T1 will trigger. So T1 and D4. T1 and D4. Now here IS equals the so same current is flowing. So this I naught direction 
and this load current output current direction is same. So now here is equals to i now. So now here alpha to pi. So is equals to i naught only. Is equals to i naught. So now here another one mm, next from alpha to pi to pi to pi plus alpha from pi to pi plus alpha. So here t1 and d2 will conduct. So t1 and d2 will conduct from alpha to from alpha to pi. So here pi to pi plus alpha from pi to pi plus alpha from pi to pi plus alpha. So here so d2 and d3 two diodes will free wheels. So here d2 and d3 d3 and d2 will free wheels and this is the load current i naught so now here i naught is output current is constant and now here this here this one is this one will conduct so source current equals to but here this current equals to is equals to zero so now here alpha pi pi plus alpha now here this current equals to zero so now here during uh, pi to pi plus alpha d2 and d3 will conduct so now here uh, second uh, assumption uh, here so pi plus alpha to pi plus alpha to 2 pi pi plus alpha to 2 pi duration so now here t4 and d3 will conduct so here t4 and d3 will conduct so now here we are triggering t4 and here we are triggering t1 is triggering at alpha and t4 is triggering at pi plus alpha so now here during this uh, period i am drawing the diagram so this is the diagram so t4 will conduct so t4 will conduct during negative off cycle so this is minus and this is plus so this is uh, uh, this is uh, cathode so plus this one is cathode and next here this one here uh, what will be the what will happen here during uh, fall for to pi so t4 t4 and t4 will conduct and next here this is a diagram d3 will conduct t4 and d3 will conduct this is the diagram so now here how it will work so first here this is the T, T4 and D, uh, D3 will conduct. So now here output current is negative. Output current is negative. So in this duration, so this is IS, IS. So here it is a negative. Sorry, here how the diagram it looks like this. This is um, this is minus. This cathode is connected to this one, and this anode is connected to this one. So now here I am drawing the circuit again. So now here this is the supply voltage. So now here this is A and from the A to A to uh, this negative, this negative is connected to this one. This is a T4 will conduct. This is cathode and this negative. This is a cathode. And next here this one now here this is the load load is connected load is connected and next here it is connected to this is a positive and this is a diode d3 d3 this is a anode anode of the this my plus this plus is connected to this anode 
and next this minus is connected to this cathode. So now here I am drawing the uh, uh, polarities here. The, this is the I naught current. So this is the I naught current and this is the load current. So here load current is flowing, load current I naught equals to minus IS. So this is IS equals to minus I naught. So this current equals to, this is the negative current from pi plus alpha to 2 pi. So this is minus I naught. So now here the current is flowing. So now here the current is, this is I naught current. So now I naught current is flowing opposite to this I not and here the current is flowing like this. Here, here is only current direction is like this. Current direction. So completely opposite to the I not. This is the IS. IS is opposite to the I not. So now this is the case for pi plus alpha to 2 pi plus alpha. Next 2 pi plus alpha to 2 pi to 2 pi plus alpha. So now here D3 and D2 will conduct. So now here uh, let us see uh, how uh, they will operate. This is T1 and this is T3. Uh, sorry, T4 will conduct. So T1, D2 will conduct. D2 and D3 will conduct. And next T3 and D3 will conduct. D sorry, T3, sorry, T4 and D3 will conduct. And next here D2 and D3 will conduct. So now here uh, let us uh, take. So this is a I naught current. This is a I naught current. And now it will conduct I naught. And this is a zero and negative current. This is minus I naught. And now here um, uh, thyristor currents. So thyristor is conducting up to T1 is conducting up to pi only. So in the symmetrical case, so gamma of T1 is, so here pi minus alpha. Gamma of T2 is, gamma of uh, T4 is uh, this one, 2 pi minus pi plus alpha. So that equals to pi minus alpha. So gamma of T1 equals to gamma of T4 equals to gamma of T equals to pi minus alpha only pi minus alpha this is the conduction time part so now here this is a pi minus alpha so now here gamma of d2 so gamma of uh, d2 is equals to gamma of d2 is up to conducting so this is conducting up to pi plus alpha alpha to pi plus alpha gamma of d2 is conducting up to pi to pi plus alpha and next gamma of d3 this one is also here is also same d3 and d2 so now here gamma is conducting up to pi plus alpha so this one d3 is also pi plus alpha so otherwise you can take this much duration so here the, this is pi and this is pi and pi plus alpha so here is up to pi plus alpha. So now here you can see uh, the observation here in the asymmetrical uh, converter, uh, semi-converter. So here thyristor uh, uh, conduction time is pi minus alpha, diode conduction time is pi plus alpha. So uh, conduction time for thyristor is not equal to conduction time for diode. But in case of uh, symmetrical, so that is the same, that is pi duration, but it is thyristor is conducting less duration, that is pi minus alpha. So diodes are conducting for um, more conduction uh, duration as compared to the thyristor. Because of this reason, so here it is a asymmetrical uh, uh, semi-converter, semi full-wave semi-converter. Semi so now this is the uh, time period. So now let us take the formulas first. Here during T1 and D2, D2 and D3 and T4 and D3 and next D2 and D3. So this is the T1, this is the T4 and now here it is a constant I0 and now here this is current I0 
and there is no current from alpha to pi, pi plus alpha is negative to 2 pi and next is 0. This is minus i naught and it is conducting up to pi, it is conducting to pi plus alpha. Pi, this is alpha, alpha. So now here I am writing the output voltage V naught equals to 1 by pi integral of alpha to pi 1 plus sorry Vs equals to Vm sin omega t. So that equals to sin omega t d omega t. So now that equals to 1 Vm by pi 1 plus cos alpha. So V naught equals to V naught average value. V naught average value equals to Vm by pi 1 plus cos alpha. So now here first one, uh, first equation and second equation is the conduction time per SCR. So that is uh, pi minus alpha duration, pi, pi minus alpha duration only. This is second formula and third formula gamma of D is equals to gamma of d equals to pi plus alpha, pi plus alpha. This is for, for thyristor T1 and T4, this is for thyristor D2 and D3. And next here, the fourth point is the omega Tc, circuit turn off time. So now here the time for each SCR is in reverse bias condition. So T1 is uh, up to here, uh, this is uh, 2 pi. 2 pi and this is a pi only. So 2 pi minus 2 pi minus and pi duration by omega. So this is the duration. So Tc equals to pi by omega is the circuit turn off time. Here up to for what duration is SCR is in reverse bias means here. Here this is a pi T1 is reverse bias. Here is also T1 is in reverse bias. A, a T1 will not uh, conduct here and this duration. So this is the 2 pi and this is the pi. 2 pi minus pi. So now here Tc equals to pi by omega c. So here now here we have four formulas. So now mm, another one is uh, mm, that uh, that I will explain. Now now here this is I naught. T1, D2, D2, D3, T1, T4, T4 and D3 and next here this is the output I0 minus I0 I0 and this is and next here it is up to conducting pi plus alpha. So now here uh, conduction time so now here I T average value it average value so now here conduction time for gamma of t equals to pi minus alpha duration it will conduct so now here so i naught current into pi minus alpha by 2 pi pi minus alpha by 2 pi and next here so it rms value it rms value equals to i naught into square root of pi minus alpha by 2 pi. So this is the fifth one and this one is the sixth one. Next seventh one is the it id diode R average value equals to i naught into diode o conduction time is pi plus alpha. So here pi plus alpha up to so now here i naught in pi plus alpha by 2 pi. So this is the time. Now eighth one is a ID RMS current. ID RMS current equals to I naught into pi plus alpha by 2 pi. So now here we have how many formulas here? So first one is here uh, average value equals to average value uh, output voltage average value equals to Vm by pi. So first I will explain again. So during alpha to pi duration T1, D2 will conduct. So during that period, this so output current is always constant. So source current equals to I0 and uh, IT current uh, thyristor will conduct uh, alpha to pi. And next here diode will conduct 
from uh, 0 to 5 plus alpha and next to uh, 5 to 5 plus alpha uh, D2 and D3 will conduct during that period I know I source current is 0 and next here SCR will con uh, SCR will not conduct diodes only will conduct and next to it uh, 5 plus alpha T4 will conduct and T4 and D3 will conduct T4 and D3 will conduct and this is minus I. So here during this period, so the source current is negative, so negative that is minus I naught. So now here again T T4 diode will conduct. So T4 SCR will conduct. Again next D3 diode will conduct. So now here output voltage equals to Vm by uh, Vm by pi one plus cos alpha per uh, full wave semi uh, asymmetrical uh, semi converter. And now here conduction time per SCR is pi minus alpha. Conduction time per uh, diode is pi plus alpha. And now here circuit turn off time. So circuit turn off time means the time for which SCR is in reverse bias. So now here SCR is in reverse bias from pi to 2 pi. So 2 pi minus pi. So now here omega TC is a circuit turn off. Time. So this is the pi. So this is the pi pi by omega. Now here 1, 2, 3, 4 and next fifth formula is these formulas are most important. Here there is no, uh, here uh, pi minus alpha, this, this gamma of t and gamma of d are not equals. So in case of symmetrical uh, uh, semi-converter, so this, uh, that's what both are conducting for same duration because of that reason that uh, are conducting uh, the, the because of that reason that are symmetrical but here SCR is conducting from pi minus alpha duration and uh, diode is conducting for pi plus uh, alpha duration because diode conduction uh, the diode conduction is more than the th thyristor conduction time so because of this reason the S converter is known as a symmetrical symmetrical semiconductor asymmetrical semiconductor so now if you take the it average value it average value it it average value this is the i naught if you take the average value up to up to 2 pi so i naught by i naught into pi m pi minus alpha pi this is from alpha to pi it will conduct so pi m by this is 2 pi duration. So now here IT average value equals to I naught into pi minus alpha by 2 pi. And next IT RMS value are take the IT RMS value equals to the I naught is a common take under root. So the conduction duration is pi minus alpha and 2 pi. So now here IT RMS equals I naught into square root pi minus alpha by 2 pi. Now here what about the diode so diode conduction time period is pi plus alpha here it will conduct up to pi plus alpha so now up to 2 pi so now here take the average id rms equals i naught into pi plus alpha by 2 pi so now here it id rms equals i naught into so take under root this is a conduction time and this is total time period so here id rms equals to i naught into pi plus uh, and i naught into under root pi plus 2 pi so now here these are the formulas i t average equals i naught into pi minus alpha by 2 pi i t rms equals i naught into pi minus alpha by 2 pi i d average equals i naught into pi plus alpha by 2 pi like this so now these are the formulas so now now i hope all these concepts are uh, clear to you uh, if you still have any doubts in this lecture, you can comment in the comment section below. I will answer to your queries. Thank you. Thank you very much to you. All. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.